I'm Liesl Barrel. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, here in Montreal at Random Hacks of Kindness. We've got a whole bunch of teams going and uh, we're talking about one of the very particular problems and solutions that we're dealing with uh, today. So uh, we were briefed on a very uh, particular problem in Sri Lanka. So. Um, I'm Hilari. I'm from an organization called Learn Asia. We're a think tank. Uh, we do development research and we do small interventions, actual research pilots. And one of the things we've been studying for about well, six months to a year is the pineapple farmers in Sri Lanka. And we've been studying agriculture for much longer. And pineapple has the potential to give farmers a very high income, but it requires a very specific uh, growing knowledge uh, that they have a hard time finding. Uh, the value chain itself has a lot of other problems. Two of the things that I brought uh, to Montreal today to ask for the help from the teams uh, is one, to find buyers and sellers. There are farmers who can't find buyers for their pineapples and who traditionally end up selling to the same buyer that they've always been selling to. There are buyers who can't fulfill the orders, so there's a market need to find each other. There's also uh, the problem of the pineapple suckers or the saplings that you use to start a new pineapple plantation, uh, where you can't tell the quality of the sucker until you've actually planted it and you've got a, a pineapple bush or a tree. So a farmer might end up uh, spending a lot of money on the suckers only to realize that uh, this is a whole bad batch. So if we have some way of ranking the reputation of sellers after the experience of growing, you know, of buying from it, it would be very useful for farmers because this would save a huge amount amount of their investment. So these are the two specific things uh, that I've brought to the table and asked for the help and I think they've selected uh, one specific aspect of it to start today and then hopefully we'll continue this engagement over time. Hi, so I'm with Team Pineapple Express and we're working on a very specific uh, solution to address these needs, but one of the things that attracted us with the brief is how scalable it is. Um, we want to make sure that the tool we build will be able to use for other cash crops um, in other developing areas, whether that's um, Southeast Asia or Sub-Saharan Africa. We want to make sure that um, what we do is scalable and uh, works for any of those scenarios. So we're very excited about that aspect of the brief. Um, the other aspect that was great for us was we have a lot of measurement. Um, there's actually the figure that um, we could, in, in theory, save about 11% from farmers' product, uh, from farmers' pockets. So we're excited to uh, to try and get that. Um, and what we're basically doing is focusing on the actual pineapple aspect for now, the pineapple product, so that different farmers can um, can input data around the cash, uh, the crop that they're growing, when it'll be available, how much they have available, um, the price per kilo, and that uh, different buyers can opt in. In to receive the feed that gets pushed to them of available pineapples in their area. So uh, we have the field tool that's going to be mobile based for uh, rural farmers um, to input this data. And then we're going to have the web app on top of it. So that, that environment is going to be useful for, for your team to um, manage any moderation that they need, also to build support for the project and to aggregate all the data in an area where we can actually get more sophisticated over time, like plot of value per day per region um, and that type of thing. So we're very excited at the extensibility of that, um, where we can take it for things like banana or grain or saplings when we move beyond just the pineapple. Um, so that's what we're working on. We're very excited. We've got like one more day left, so we're all coding and busy and in, into it. Um, and one of the other things we want to look at is the community and getting some value-added content because part of the challenge is sharing knowledge, sharing tips, sharing strategies to help all the farmers cultivate to make better crops um, because this is a long term, from what I understand, it takes two or three years to yield fruit. So it's a big investment of time and money for these farmers and we want to make sure they have tools where they can share that information. So we'll be looking at some value added content as well and we're very excited to present tomorrow. Thank you.